the heat of the desert is where the Sun Devils thrive. Welcome to Tempe, Arizona, Mountain America Stadium, home to the Arizona State Sun Devils and the rich legacy formed by the likes of Frank Cush, Jake the Snake, and Pat Tillman. And boy, do we have a fun one ahead. Top 10 team, target on their back, going on their road and right into the snake pit. As we'll see a team coming off a crucial bye week, the Utah Utes. Taking on another team from the Big 12 in an intra-conference matchup, the Arizona State Sun Devils. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David. Runs good routes, normally has good hands, but didn't have them there. On third and long, no secret what he needs here. How about getting the down on that throw for the big completion? If I'm a defense, I gotta find a way to get some more pressure through the air I gotta be maybe a little bit more aggressive or do something a little bit different good pick up on that play it'll bring up second and four they're about to snap it for the seventh time on this drive quarterback on the keeper smashes ahead hit the gas kid wide open ahead he's run out of bounds but not before turning it up on third and short He's brought down, not before they pick up the big first down. And obviously, this is one of the best offenses in the country, and it's because they get first downs. Top 10 in the nation picking up first downs. How nice is it to know you can turn around, hand it off to that guy right there, and let him go to work? That's about as close as you can get to that marker, and it will be second and just a few breaths away from the down. Here's the handoff. He pushes it forward all the way to the two-yard line. The Sun Devils trying to get a touchdown on first and goal. Trying to pound it in. And makes his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Sun Devils! And what a push up front by this offensive line. Everyone playing in unison. for a physical attack from the gun. Got room at the 35. And he gets it to the 45-yard line, and that'll be a first down. After the big play to start, now they are on the move at their own 45. They're going to go right back to him on first down. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. On the move, it's Cook. Quickly to the tight end. Tackle is made at the 44, but he picked up 10 yards and enough for a first down. And the Sun Devils come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Fires to the right. He's got it. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on A shot toward the end zone. And he was going for the touchdown there, and they couldn't make the connection. Well, on third and short in field goal range, they dial up the... He wastes no time and comes up. A shot toward the end zone. Pass is incomplete, but there is a flag beside the quarterback, and this might be a roughing call. You just can't hit the quarterback like that. Fender got caught red-handed. The offense will gladly take a fresh set of downs after the penalty. He'll take a shot. Touchdown, Arizona State! No midseason concentration laps here in week seven as they push out that lead. On second down, he's looking downfield. He makes the catch in the end zone. Touchdown, Sun Devils! And this quarterback really does a great job of seeing the Leaves it with the running back. You want to make sure to maximize those types of runs, and he gets it out to the 41. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. 
He's looking to throw. He lobs one high down the left side. He's got it inside the team. Touchdown, Arizona State! And the beatdown has ensued. When you get down in this area, they're going to call his name. The physical back, they're going to give him the football. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. Well, here's an interesting decision. It's early in the game. Do you want him? Looking back on it, this game probably falls precisely into the definition of a trap game. Trap was set, sprung, and the underdogs come up with the win. And that's why we go, you know what? I don't take your rankings. I'm not worried about your rankings. They don't matter to me. We're going to go out and beat this team. We're better than this team. A lot of times, those rankings don't mean a lot to a lot of people. And you can tell it didn't mean a lot to this team. And that's why they came out and pulled the upset. Absolutely, David. I mean, that's why you play the games. This team knew they had to come out. They were going to have to put their best foot forward in order to get the W. They did just that. They're talented. They're obviously motivated.